In this short video, we're going to take a look at various utilization measures. And we're going to take a look at page 96 with Zell's Dry Cleaners. So in your text, page 96, sample problem number three. And we're going to be looking at Zell's Dry Cleaners. Zell's has collected the following data for its processing of dress shirts. It takes an average of three and a half hours to dry clean and press a dress shirt. Okay, so, sorry for the yawn. Three point five hours. Okay. Um, with value added time estimated at a hundred and ten minutes per shirt. Value added time is a hundred and ten minutes per shirt. And if we're going to calculate that in minutes, we should probably calculate this in minutes. So three and a half hours would be equal to um, 180 plus 210 minutes. Keep them all in the same denomination there. Workers are paid for seven hour work day and work five and a half hours per day on average. Okay, so workers are paid for a seven hour work day and work five and a half hours per day on average. Labor utilization is at 75% in the industry. The dry cleaner completes 25 shirts per day. Okay. with an industry standard of 28 shirts per day for the comparable facility. Okay, so... Okay, the dry cleaner has 25 shirts per day. The standard in the industry is 28 shirts per day. Okay, so let's take a look here. They want us to determine the process velocity, the labor utilization rate, and the efficiency for the company. So the process velocity is going to be the throughput time divided by the value added time. All right, so um,
Okay, so our throughput time was going to be the 210 minutes. That's how long it takes them to process a dress shirt. And the value added time was the 110 minutes per shirt. So the process velocity is just a simple division of those two numbers, the 210 divided by the 110. So process velocity is 1.90 and labor utilization is going to be equal to the, the time that's actually being worked divided by the time that's available to work. So we would do 5.5 .5 divided by the 7 here. And that will give us the labor utilization. So we have a labor utilization rate of, of about 78%. 79. comparing that with 75% in the industry. Okay, and last but not least, the efficiency rating. The efficiency rating, we want to compare the dry cleaners, shirts per day with the standard. So we are going to look at the shirts processed divided by the standard. So they are operating at about 89% efficiency. Okay, and that's it for those calculations. They're pretty simple and straightforward. And hopefully that will help you out some.